uh, the question is, you know, why stake Ethereum? I mean, I think the obvious is it's the second largest <laughs> cryptocurrency by market cap and, and, and the, the growth in comparison would, would be number one. And then with the transition of proof of stake for me, that kind of gives more of an opportunity, like you were saying to someone that, you know, previously before didn't know how to use the mining hardware with proof of work. So now you have a, an opportunity for someone to get in entry level for, for proof of stake. And then the entry level is significantly went down. So it seems like it's a lower risk kind of high reward as far as proof of stake. And then obviously the rewards and the interest rate, but could you tell, say like a little bit more on why you think staking Ethereum and is something that is beneficial um, as far as the future growth of Ethereum? Yeah, here's a blog post uh, that I'll share as a reference, but staking Ethereum it will be the default for Ethereum in the future. If you're holding on to it, you're not planning to like sell it that day. The average person is looking to set and forget. And so mm. it makes more sense to hold staked Ethereum because it pays you passive income. And so like why Ethereum of all the thousands of crypto projects, it's like, show me the money, you know, like currently we're in a recessionary environment. There's lots of fear on what's going to happen ahead. And when there's fear, you know, people mm -hmm. only pay for what they really need, what they think they need. And so this is a report from actually earlier this year, you know, showing you know, how much money uh, Ethereum made. Um, this is just revenue from individuals around the world who wanted to use the blockchain. And so by paying for a transaction on Ethereum, you know, Ethereum is making money and Ethereum's revenue just far exceeds any competitor. So the tokenomics and economics around Ethereum as like a tech company um, and as a business is coming together quickly now so that we'll be able to have, you know, a connection between traditional finance investing terms, um, like you do with stocks to price to earnings or, you know, price to sales that is now available with, you know, blockchains and specifically token terminal uh, provides this really good dashboard. It is paid now, but when this was previously available, it was free. And um, most people want to invest in companies that make money and they make money because they have high demand from customers. And so Ethereum has a lot of high demand and the demand, you know, that's clear thus far is this decentralized finance stack. Are you able to see my screen with this? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, cool. Um, so like, you know, decentralized finance is how we do banking without middlemen. It makes so much sense right. with Venmo or like PayPal, mm -hmm. but we still like can't do some basic settlement stuff. So Ethereum yeah. sits at the base of all of this. And, um, you know, it, currently we don't have regulation in the United States, which makes it unclear and maybe scary for some people to understand. But uh, mm -hmm. the more you learn, you realize that Ethereum truly is, you know, at the, the floor of the future of decentralized finance or even decentralized gaming or even decentralized social because individuals want to hold their own data. They don't want to give away their most valuable resource. You know, data is the oil. And if data is the oil, you know, Ethereum is the internet money that makes the data oil machine work. And as privacy becomes more important, and more individuals realize they want to, you know, have transparency in their finances. It makes sense to bring every your finances on chain, just like we have brought, you know, our lives on the internet over the last 20 years. Internet has only been around about 30 years. You know, it's going to look back that like our lives and finance will be online. Why would you ever trust a bank that doesn't, you know, report how much money they have in the bank? You know, that's going to be the default ahead, and Ethereum will, you know, power that world that we see. So we went on a bit of a long way of saying why staked Ethereum is the answer. But, you know, for 95% mm -hmm. of people out there, I think it's just a great opportunity to participate in this next evolution of the internet. You know, it's like a set and forget thing. And, you know, I personally am you know, heavily into the community and it's, there's extremes that you see. There's certain people who, you know, have all the retirement accounts in this, and there's certain people who still think it's a scam. So it's up to each person to do their own research. And I mm -hmm. hope that uh, you can ask me all of your uh, tough questions so we can yeah i do have a question out. for you yeah 